you very much. Thank you. All right. Well, ladies and gentlemen, a little experiment with probability, and I'm going to ask for some of you to volunteer. Don't push anyone. Just come if you want to. I won't be pointing to you, so if you want to join in, fine. If not, don't worry. We'll find somebody else. In this particular experiment, I need six gentlemen and one lady. No more than that. Just six gentlemen, one lady. If you want to help, just put your hand up or come forward. Any gentleman. Come on, put your hands up so I know. One, two, three, four, five, and six. That'll be fine. No more than that. In a moment, I'll ask you to come forward. And uh, a lady. One, two. All right. Thanks very much. Good. Nice near the front, a little help. So when I ask you to, you come forward. And what I'd like you to do, the gentleman, is to walk over here. And as you can see, we have some envelopes, A, B, C, D, E, and F. I'd like you to pick one of those envelopes. They'll just come out of those slots like that. And then choose one of the numbers. It must be your choice. And then stand with the envelope held in your hand like this in front of the number that you want. It's your choice, your selection. So could we now get the six gentlemen to come forward, please? And the one lady. Six gentlemen, come on forward. Pick an envelope. Pick a number. And the lady. And the lady comes with me on this side, please. Just stand behind the table, please. Fine. What I'd like you to do is to take those pictures, turn them upside down, their pictures, and put them in front of you near this edge, just uh, face upwards, uh, in a straight line, in any order you like. Just put them in front of you very quickly, please. And uh, whilst she's doing that, I will take these envelopes and ask you to shuffle them. They are rather big and a bit awkward, so perhaps you'd like to just shuffle some of them, and uh, will you shuffle those up? I'll come back to them in a moment. Just hold them in your hands. Good. Now, could I ask you to... Um, would you like to change the order before I say anything else? You sure? Okay, I'll tell you what they are in a moment. Just push any two forward. Any two at all. Those two. And may I now ask you, I should have asked you this a little earlier, uh, choose one of these gentlemen. Now, you can stand a little further that way if you want. Just stand, stand a little further that way. Excuse me, that way. That, that way there, good, so you can see them. And as you can tell, they've got numbers behind them. One, two, three, four, five, six. I'd like you to decide on one of those. All right, anyone. You, you, it's not for life, by the way. You're taking a terrible time over it. Just, just choose them by number. I mean, we're not even going to look at them too closely. What would you like? One, two, three, four, five, or six? Uh, five. Five. Number five. Good. Number five. May I ask you to hold your envelope up like this? I see you chose E. Good. Hold it in your hand like this. You won't get too tired. The rest of you hold them down like that, okay? Now, also, we have one envelope, which I'd like to leave in full view like this. Okay. By the way, could you shuffle the others around again in any order you like? This envelope, ladies and gentlemen, has to stay in full view all the time. So I've decided to use my tame giraffe. You see, I have a little sugar right here. There it comes. It knows what it, when it's... Come on. <laughs> all right, boy, just calm down, because I just want to use my small clip here to put it in. That's the smallest clip in this size I could find. I put it in there, and that'll go up again. Okay, boy, off you go. Goodbye. <laughs> there he goes, but he will stay in full view all the time. Now, he might have gone out of, out of view as far as the viewers are concerned, but as far as the audience here is concerned, he will be there or the envelope will be there all that time. That's important, okay? Obviously, if anybody touched it, you'd notice it. Now, you shuffle those around, I see. Could I ask you to pick one up in your left hand and one in your right hand, please? And then hand me one of those. Are you sure? Now, if we use this for an experiment tonight, would you think that would be fair? Yes or no? All right. Let me tell you that this is, uh, they're all famous paintings. This particular one is Peter Bruegel, the younger, 1564 to 1638, I think. No, I don't think. It's written down here, but I, I know about it anyway. Um, that's that one. If, for instance, she'd chosen this one, this is a seascape by George Chambers. Um, this one is... Uh, a Picasso. I have to be honest with you, when Picasso painted this, it was painted that way up. It's called the old guitar player, but I couldn't get it into the frame, so I hope you don't mind. We're going to use it this way around tonight. This one is a famous English painter called John Constable. He painted that kind of scene. And um, this one is Van Gogh, typical uh, of cornfields, yellow and blue cornfields, but this one is called Gypsy Caravan. And uh, this one is a man called Anthony or Antonio Canal, better known as Canaletto. Um, now, she could have chosen any one of those, 
but the one you've decided on for this one, if you just hold it in your hand for a moment, right? That's Peter Bruegel, and it's called The Wedding Feast. Now, of course, nobody could have known that before we started. And on top of that, I asked this lady to choose one of these gentlemen. And the gentleman was asked to choose an envelope and choose a place to stand. He's holding it up there. She could have chosen any one of these. Let's go and see what happens. Inside the envelope you're holding, if you'll open it up, you'll find there's a painting. It's a little bit larger than the others, but I'd like you to just open it up and hold it in here, drop the envelope on the floor, hold it there, and you can see it's exactly the same. That's Peter Bruegel, the younger, and it's called The Wedding Feast. Well, I, I appreciate the applause. I don't really deserve it. Only half of that is difficult. You see, I had to make sure that this lady would choose this particular painting. After that, it was easy. I didn't really care which man she pointed to. That's why I said, don't make a big fuss about it, because they're all the same in there. <laughs> Sorry about that. Okay. Oh, you don't believe me? Uh, gentlemen, open up the envelopes, take them out, drop the envelopes on the floor, keep the cards up. May I just come here for a moment, please? Um, now, I'd like you to... <laughs> I'd like you to hold these, all right? Just, um, uh, would you take that? Just in the shuffle order, like that, and like that. Good. And would you like to hold this in this shuffle order that you've got? Okay. Just, um, we need actually two more people. Could you, the t two people, help there as well? Yes? Um, Take one, and you take one, and we need to give one to, oh, better keep them in the shuffle order so that goes to you, and that would go to you, wouldn't it? And that one goes to you. Right. Now, one, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, we have six envelopes representing these people. You'll be number one, number two, number three, number four, and five, number six. What I'd like to do in a moment is to take the cards or the pictures inside there out of the envelopes, and then you can leave the envelopes behind and just go forward. And I said, you represent number one. So what you would do is you go to number one. Okay? You go to number two. Just hand them the, the pictures. Number three, number four, number five, number six. Hand it to them. And you gentlemen, oh, I didn't realize. As you can see, they are all different. <laughs> There's only one there. That deserves a round of applause, I think. Okay. <laughs> I hadn't even looked around. So, when you take them out now, keep them face down. Don't, don't show them around for a moment. Gentlemen, put those face down. Hold them towards you now. No, in one hand. Hold them towards you in one hand. When you get the others, make sure it's the same way around. And when I ask you to, I'd like you to put them both up like that, like judges at a skating competition, all right? You hold them like that, okay, when you get them. Would you like to come forward now? Give that to one, that to two, three, to four, to five, and to six. And then you go back to your seats. Hold them down, face down, please. Just make sure they're the right way around. Okay, go and sit down. Thank you very much. Right, gentlemen, may I now ask you to hold them up like judges at the skating competition. Hold them up like that. And I think you find they all match again. <laughs> yes, 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 and yes. That is incredible. Actually, not only is that incredible, I've just looked at this and look at the same order there. We've got a Canaletto, we have the, a Picasso, we have the Constable, the Van Gogh, the Bruegel, and the Chambers, all in the same order on the table as well. Okay. <laughs> you know, somehow, somehow I had to know that beforehand because... Uh, Oh, well, in spite of all these envelopes and everything being taken, because, look, I, I really must have known, because this gentleman's holding the Canaletto, and this one is holding the Picasso, <laughs> and this one, if you mind your back there, fine, is holding that. That is the Van Gogh, the Bruegel, and the Chambers, so I must have known something before we started. Okay, gentlemen, thank you very much. Put them on the table and go and sit down. Put them on the table, put them over there, and go and sit down. Thank you. Thank you very much. Go and sit down. Come on, a big round of applause for all these ladies and gentlemen coming up there. Thank you. Good. Thank you very much. Thank you. Quite seriously, though, people always ask me, how do you do that kind of thing? Well, I have to tell you, it's not that hard. You have to just know two things. One is, which painting will the lady choose? You sit down in a chair and you think about it. And I thought about it. And I thought, well, I'm sure she'll get the Bruegel. It's a nice, colorful one. And then what number would she choose? Well, perhaps nobody too near to her, so she'll say five. 
you don't believe me, let me prove it to you. That little giraffe has been holding my envelope all the time. If you come back to me, please. That's very nice of you. Let me take it out, because inside the envelope, I have just one large painting. And that painting, you'll see there's only one in there, is Peter Bruegel. Uh, <laughs> and of course, it has to be number five. Right?